welcome to room 19041, which is a King Pyramid Suite. It's a corner suite in the Luxor. Um, just literally just checked in now. Um, so first impression of the room, it's a nice size, really dark, really dark room. Um, kind of about to put all the lights on. It's like one in the afternoon, I've had to put all the lights on to, to kind of show you around. But you know, it's a nice big space. Uh, again, like some of my other rooms as I talked about in this series, comped um, four nights with a hundred um, food and beverage credit and a hundred in free play. So yeah, as you come in, first thing you've got, you've got the bathroom on your right hand side and you come into the main bedroom area. Nice, had a wallpaper, almost like a mosaic effect. Then you have a big like floor to ceiling mirror. Nice bedside table, glass top, nice lamp, remote control for the TV. Uh, I don't know if the TV is going to be like the room I stayed in in the Luxor a couple of years ago, but there was only about 10 channels and it was pretty blurry, so we'll have a look at that. Your phone uh, down here, I think you've got a drawer, yeah, empty drawer. Nice big king bed, haven't stopped on this yet, but it feels nice and soft. Then you've got your TV entertainment unit. Again, plenty of storage. It's about eight drawers in total by the looks of it. AC unit, pretty old school. A uh, little table, lamp, little chair. And then you've got another bedside table just like the one before. Over here we've got a nice tub. So it's a nice deep tub. Not a uh, spa tub like the one I had in uh, Mandalay Bay, but still nice. So love over a bath in Vegas. Towels, all your uh, stuff over here, your body washes, your shampoos, your conditioner, your soap. Nice. And up on the step, oh, to all for this, you can see the view, so there's a mountain view, you can see over to like Palms, a little bit down to city centre, nice view of the pool, and then just like when I was in Mandalay Bay, great view over to Allegiant Stadium, so should look good at night with the lights on, yeah, quite happy with that, so again, coming back around, Another nice mirror there, another chair, another table. You can see you've got the baggage stand over there, excuse my bag, sit on at the moment. Then you've got a hanging area here, your hangers, iron board into the side, iron up top, and then that nice big safe. I'll just check it's open, then as we come into the bathroom. Okay. Noisy uh, AC or extractor in here. So, single sink, air dryer, again, all your uh, dishes and shampoos, things like that, plenty of towels, toilet paper below, and a nice big shower, a rainfall head. Nice, decent size, a little bit of sweet, I'll see. You can have a little side area here, a bit of artwork on the wall there, a few more lamps, as I say the luggage rack, and you have fridge, which is empty, nice and cold, get some beers in there in a minute, sofa, another little table, and you have a TV stand with a TV, I'm guessing there's nothing in these cupboards under here. Though, um, unlike some of the hotels, you don't have any kind of AV ports, anything to hook your TV up. Uh, again, another AC unit, and again, outside, the sun's really hot coming through the windows here at the moment, so that's the reason I've got them shut. You can kind of see over to the Delano there. Again, Allegiant down to the pool 
So all in all guys, yeah, really happy with this room uh, in terms of it being a comp. Um, based on this trip, looking at the stuff I'm getting offered for next time I'm here um, in November, uh, I appear to be getting offered some kind of higher level rooms, probably because of COVID and being away for Vegas for like two years. It's hard for them to rate and play. So yeah, all in all, extremely happy. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Should be one more to come from this series. So see you soon. And just as an update, just like the last real estate in the Luxor, TV is really blurry. Channels that are just not working. So yeah, not much has changed. Luxor, sort out your TV signal.